What's up everybody? I'm Taryn Michael Mai and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hello, how are you? I'm Taryn Michael Mai and thanks for stopping by my little channel to see what's going on over here. So it's that time again, it's that time of the month, not that time of the month, but that time of the month where I do Boxy Charm Premium Review. And guys, I think last month I got Boxy Lux. I don't know if they change the um, way they do it but I know you had to do it separately but I got boxy looks so maybe they change but boxy charm premium this is August so we're gonna do our end of the month reviews I got my flips they finally got the milk chocolate ones back in stock it's nighttime here so I'm ready for a snack I already had dinner so I'm gonna get all my snack or whatever at out before what nine because you girl gotta lose the gut she got going and I got my sweet red Michigan wine I like. I got a mega pint. <laughs> but I got the Cena set for us to review some stuff, okay? That's the point here. It is thunderstorming. It was so loud and just amazing right before I started filming. I had to change the battery on my World Pro mic. Oh, and I just wish that was playing in the background. But hopefully you can get some more thunder. And this is always linked in my videos, but I'm burning my perfume on my leather jacket candle from my candle line. Oof, Michael Candles, it smells so good. And a lot of my coworkers and friends have been supporting my brand. So they really do like the candles. I'm excited about that. So I just got that burning. Had it smelling all fresh with the rain, but let's get into it you guys i'm so happy to have my videos back up well this won't be later but if you don't watch any of those other ones i had to stop filming for a minute because yeah inflation and i couldn't keep up with my software and stuff but what if here we are so let's see what we got in this box I already got some brows on and i have nothing else right now except for cross eyes because i'm tired it's been a long day but let's see what we got in this box it came fast this time. All right, dust, dusk to dawn is what we're calling it. That is what they have. Let's read. Okay, so we have more Ofra, not surprised. Ofra Cosmetics Signature Palette. It's called Symph Symphony. I cannot talk today. So we got this. Let's see. The price of this is 34 bucks. Good old packaging per usual. And let's look at the colors. I can get open here. Okay, so we got Manny MUA's palette last time, and now we have this. The colors are very fall, so I see where they're headed. They're, they're pretty. We shall see if we like it. We shall see. Sometimes I want like a stark contrast, but it is a good palette, so I can't really judge it yet. Okay, let's see what we got. Cat Berkey Nutrient Eye Cream. So we have this nice hefty amount, 0.5 ounces or 15 milliliters. This is $90, so I think we'll just let it sit when we do try it on our eyes because I have nothing else on. Let's look at the packaging. Let's have a gander. I don't know why I feel like they used to have some little like conversational piece for what the box was all about before. They don't do it anymore. I, I swear they used to have that. But this is what it looks like. Just nice clean packaging. Oh, it's a pump. I like a, a, I like a nice pump eye cream. So vitamin C is always good. So let's see. And I can always use another eye cream. I love eye cream. Okay. This one we're not going to be able to try today because my hair is already done. But I'm always in the market for a good um Deep condition oh leave-in condition speaking of that the conditioner and shampoo from last month's boxy charm was so good my hair smooth silky it smelled good it felt strong i didn't feel any residue on it oh and i left it in as like a heat mask it was nice it, it was really nice um but this one is playa manoi milk leave-in conditioner it is Clammy to smooth frizz and softens strands of hair. So coconut milk and manoa oil. I like the packaging. Very pretty. Very pretty. I really like it. 
nice and then the price of this is $24 and I would definitely spend $24 on something like this because it's a very good reasonable price and you get five ounces awesome next we have okay let's see complex culture beauty so some of these brands I've never heard of I'm excited this is Pout Clout Lipstick and your average price of a premium or prestige brand lipstick for $24. Rich plumping lip color. Here is the packaging. Let's see if I can get this to focus. And let's get the color. The color is called Owns It. I like the name. I like the name of the shade. Ooh, I really like the package. That's pretty. Ooh, I like that. I really like that nice soft caramel packaging. That nude is really pretty. Okay. And then this is the color we can get with that. We can definitely get with that. I just have like a lilac little skater dress on today, but I'm not going anywhere. It's literally the evening. I've gone everywhere I could go today. We're putting on a hoodie and no bottoms and we're gonna edit and watch YouTube videos and binge watch beauty videos because I miss them. <laughs> That is the tea for the evening, so we don't need it to match. Okay, am I missing something? Yes, I am. We have Tre Luce Beauty Forever Brilliance Metallic Liquid Shadow, $16. Here's the outside packaging. And let's open it up. Ooh, ooh. Look, that's pretty. We have to find a way to kind of incorporate that in here. Maybe we can get a little creative with it. That is pretty. Does this have a shade name? It does. Oh, Forever Brilliant. I already said it. Um, definitely giving Stila Cosmetics vibes for sure. So we'll see how that turns out. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into this box. Get our rating going. I did not have time. Well, I didn't have time to put on foundation first because I wanted to try out the eye cream. So let's do that. And let's chill out, y'all. How y'all doing? I'm ready for the fall. I'm ready to fall into some sweater weather. All right. Let's see how long this takes us to pump. Okay, not bad. I think that's enough for both eyes for sure. Okay. Texture. Well, not grainy. Sometimes they can be. Alright. Oh, this feels nice, guys. Oh, a little tingly. <laughs> a little tingly, not going to lie. I didn't expect that little jolt of <laughs> freshness <laughs> to hit my eye. It smells good, though. But, boy, that was strong. I mean, Y'all might have got a little bit too much vitamin C in here. All right, so let's let that ruminate and sit there. But... It smells good, but boy, is it strong. It's strong. And you know what? I'm missing Fat Fit Fun, but I'm still on a budget. <gasps> Y'all, I did miss something. I knew I missed something. Okay, where's this at on here? It doesn't say. Uh... Okay, Mel Away Your Way Mascara. Y'all know I love mascara if you watch my channel. Here it is. I was like, I feel like I'm missing a product. Okay, good. We can give our um, eye cream some time to dry like the packaging love the pretty colors i love this orange on here very beautiful love that shade okay let's see patented flexible wand bends up to 90 degrees in four directions okay okay i can get with that i really like this it's giving me like cute <laughs> highlighter vibes this is cute i wouldn't mind pulling this out a little um travel makeup bag all right never heard of Melloway either Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see how much we can bend it. There we go. Me not trying to get it all over myself because I am the epitome of clumsy sometimes. All right. I got to smell it. Ugh. I don't know that I love the smell, <laughs> but I think I'm going to actually love the brush. So we'll see as we move along and... You know the drill. I'm just going to take these because I've already got a review up and I'm going to recycle all of the packaging. I don't want this box sitting around this tiny studio. I really, really don't. I really, really don't. I'm going to have a bite of a flip too. I've been waiting for the OGs to come back and stop. 
they've been gone, y'all. Everywhere I've been trying to shop for some flips, they've been gone. Y'all gonna laugh, but I gotta check my YouTube. <laughs> Not my channel. But I had a little back and forth with somebody <laughs> on a different YouTube channel's page, and I just had to get them. Don't worry, no name calling, nothing crazy on either end. But their assumption off of a really, a little story time where everybody was sharing their stories and stuff. I just had to get them together because I wasn't feeling one said. It was just really off base. Because I'm just making sure. And they don't want to want to keep tussling with the girls, that's all. And they don't. You know, and honestly, to me, you should be able to have a conversation and a dialogue on social media without it getting ugly and not actually put that in my comment. Like, it shouldn't even have to get to this. We can disagree with stuff. We can give a different point of view without assumption, without name calling. Oh, she did name call me. Without being extra, you just don't have to, you know? And I'm not going to sit down and take that all the time. You know, I'm just fine. So, anyway, that's why I check my phone. Let's give this a feel. This I really can't rate on how well it works obviously because it's the first try but i can rate it on smell packaging texture the texture feels really nice and creamy um i feel like it would be very hydrating and um really sit well under my moisturizer so based off of that i can give it a good seven i'm gonna leave it at seven for now because that kick was a little strong with the vitamin c or whatever is in it literally made my eye twitch so i'm going to leave it there Let's switch it up a little bit. I feel like I have not used Pat McGrath in a minute, so I'm just gonna get a base on for my face. Don't wanna do face yet. Yeah, I know I'll be all over the place with these. Let's do face. Cause we just wanna play with these colors really. Okay, kinda already got my clips. But let's pull it back a little bit more. And I'm just going to take my Pat McGrath concealer in 17 and just do a light look, you know? The same places I tend to put them. Me still needing water, but walking up in here with some wine. Let's just act like that's what it is. <laughs> and we're just going to get a base going here. on I also wanted to turn down the um, purple LED lighting in the back a little bit but I grabbed my color correcting shade from Pat McGrath and not my skin tone one so I have time and I'm not going nowhere to be taking it all so I just grabbed a foundation that's a little tiny teeny tiny tiny bit lighter and I just fixed it that way a Chanel cream foundation so there we are let's get into this review all right, Signature Palette Symphony. Okay, these do have shades. I hate when they do the shades like this on the back, like knowing I'm gonna still read it the way, I, the way it looks on the back of the palette. Let's see. Cause I know that's not, whatever. I'm just not gonna focus on it. Cause this is here. <laughs> this here when it's over here, if that makes sense. What do we want to do, y'all? We just want to kind of play with a little bit of everything. Let's do, because I see we got some like highlighting shades here too. Let's give ourselves a little bit of Halo meets powder liner maybe? I don't know. I'd like to try it all so you can kind of see. You know, because the whole point of these is, hey, BoxyCharm is a great way to get a cluster of makeup for the price, for one price. But every month you want to see if these get better, if get worse. Should you skip the next one, try another subscription? You know what I mean. I need to wake up, though, because I can definitely feel that I am tired. I'm a tired queen, so. Let's take Charm. 
Let's take charm. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. But let's play. All right. Don't do this if you do clients. I said it every time. Let's just play. It's a lot of cake bag, though. On this, let me see here. So I've been remembering to kind of turn my chair so y'all can see what's going on here. Can you see? <clears throat> okay. Hmm. She's not really giving. Let's see. <laughs> is she giving? Not really. Uh, charm is kind of not really sticking, huh, ladies? Let's just keep going. And see what we come up with. Here I am, dipping into the pan for a third time. I'm just gonna do like a lower little, there she is, she wants to show up to the party now. A little lower brush of color, swipe of color, over here in the socket. Not the best formula for this one, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. So if I'm gonna do that, why don't we take this little shade here, this wine color shade. There is something, it might be this brush, I'm like chipping all over this. Let's take our little wine colored shade and this is called Tempo. And bring some warmth just in the left little third, or in the third of the eye. Okay, let me. Bleep. Put it to there. Y'all. <laughs> this is what you call emotional attachment. Because who is... What, what you doing with this brush? <laughs> this brush? When I say I had this brush since 2017. When I started with... This was probably the, one of the first little double-ended brushes I had got in my, my artist kit. Girl. <laughs> we might retire her and put her in a box just for memory, just a cute, clear display. <laughs> Cause you ain't doing no makeup with this little janky brush. But let's do, let's fill some coloring right here. And see, fallout is a lot. Good thing I put some powder on, we're not going anywhere. But it's supposed to be wine colored and it's just given berry. It's not. Mm -mm. Let's just keep going. Eh, I'm not in love with this palette. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because here's the thing I have colors like this that perform better. At least the fallout doesn't just decide it wants to live with you, but I do have things that perform better. I don't know where we're gonna fit this blue in, but I'm gonna try something. And then we're gonna take this dusty moment here, this shimmer dust, next to Charm. This is Sublime. And we're just gonna go all over the remaining part of the lid with that. Why not? Let's hope this does something more. My Instagram notifications are going mad. And I only have like 200 followers, so it can't be anything major. Okay. One shade that kind of wants to show up, but it's a shimmer. So, I mean, honestly, can it be expected when it comes to those kind of shades? I'm going to take a little bit more charm just to kind of clean up around everything. Because really at this point, kind of looks like one big gradient of a shade, right? Would you agree? One big gradient of the shade, and I know, I know how to blend, so. She's not quite satisfied. I'm really not, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. All right, we're gonna take that, and I'm going to get a nice angled brush, and, which one do I want? Because I want it to have a nice party angle on it. This one tends to be too fluffy. And 
just wants to straight, but yeah, nah, nah, I don't want it. I don't want it. What do we have? Aesthetica. <sighs> just blowing off the cobwebs of this one. See, this look like I haven't had this palette for 20 years. I don't, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. We are going in though now with the um, Godiva, which I do love that name. That's really pretty. We're going over with Godiva here. And we're just going to make a pencil cat eye. And hopefully it shows up because this is looking a little muddy. It just is. I feel like the colors on the palette are not how they come out on the eye. So they're all kind of looking like one. But let's continue. Let's have a sip of the Mega Pint, shall we? Okay. All right, let's go. Let's, let's help it give, if we can. Like this, she, she needs a hit of something. Let's, let's hit her with a little huger beauty here. She needs it. She needs it for her Godiva ancestors. Very fancy charm. Kiss me off right now. All I want to do is darken up a little bit with us, you know. Oh. Yes, leaves. Yes, make that soundtrack. Can you paint with the colors of the <laughs> And this is where I take my concealer. And I try to make it look not fucked up. This is where we do surgery. You can see that that's darker, but this is just looking like a big plump mess. Let's try to fix it. <laughs> is it because I'm tired or is it because the palette just really sucks? Because I'm feeling like the palette just sucks. I'm not going to lie to you. I really am. Where is my cunts? There we go. My little crusty concealer blush. Let's do some shaving. We cheated a little bit. Just to give it something. Let's see the front. It's not horrible, but it's just, you know, it's not doing anything for me. I'm gonna take a little bit of the diaper and dust the lower lash line. It's just not giving. I don't know. It's not giving. It's not giving at all. Did I help it even remotely a little bit? Let's just keep going. So we're gonna use a lash <laughs> blissful, the, the one that looks like a miniature oh, for a highlighter, with, which is what they're known for, is highlighting. At this point, I'm kind of thinking they should stick to it. We're going to hit you with some good corner highlight because at this point, what do we have to lose, right? Who the hell is hitting me up like I am Beyonce in there? I mean, thank you, but I know I ain't important like that. 
or am I just having a bad makeup day? It could just be that I'm having a bad makeup day. Maybe. All right, so we have it. We have a look. I'm just looking in my bottom mirror here on the eye. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know. Let's break up the plum of it all. It's giving sore eyes on me, not gonna lie. I'm not feeling it. Let's break it up with a little um, blue, but we're going to strategically. <laughs> if we can, this looks, oh, y'all, I don't like it. And let's find a tiny little brush and just drag some color along, shall we? If I can find, I feel like every time I wash my brushes, I rearrange them in a way that I can't find where I put them. I'm not feeling it though. I don't like the combination, but it also could be that I want to try every shade instead of swatch them. So they're kind of just muddying together because I didn't spend a lot of time blending them to overblend. <sighs> Let's break it up a little bit. Let's pull the old hair back. Does it really look that bad? To me, it does. And let's add some, let's add some blue. Let's give it something. Oh, then we just screwed up, didn't we? Yeah. I'm keep going. I'm gonna fix that later. We're just gonna keep going. I think my mind is made up in general about the eyeshadow family. <laughs> but let's keep going because I'm one of those people that just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop. Let's go. Let's add a little cat corner here, and we'll clean up the mess after. closer in my mirrors it actually is blended really well my monitor is on a side that naturally I would not look at if I'm looking at my mirror like it's here <laughs> it's on the opposite side of my monitor so naturally I can look this way and I feel like I have a better view I also have a stigmatism it's like on this side but looking in my close-up mirrors blended very well actually it's not as much of a train wreck as I thought it was gonna be, but I do have to say that the Forever Brilliant Aqua Aqua <laughs> Girl, don't let that word bother you like that. 
Aquamarine is the actual name of this shade. <laughs> I think this is kind of what saves the look though. I think that this palette would be pretty, maybe with not every color all at once, unless I really had time to do a really fun look. Carve it out the way I want to carve it out and just kind of slay because I'm going somewhere. But again, I'm just trying out the formula. So separately or just a few at a time would be great. Or if you really had time to do a really pretty elaborate fall moment with these kind of shades, which are fun to do, I think I would love it more. So this palette, I'm not going to give it as low of a score as I was going to. Um, again, it's travel friendly, so that gets it a point or two. Um, I'm going to give it like a six and a half, seven. I'm going to give it a six and a half, seven because you know what? It's not as bad as I thought. I am going to give it the... Aqua, Aqua Marine Lord Ford Liquid Eyeshadow, which I would love to see all over the eye at some point. Let's swatch it and just leave it for a second. I'm going to wipe it off. Really pretty. It is gorgeous, though. That's a pretty shade. Love it. Um, and it's not crusty. It doesn't dry fast. So I'm going to give this an eight. Mm -hmm. Eight and a half. I do like it as an accent that's a really fun that's a really fun look let's just slap some blush on i'm just pretty vulgar which is a brand i really enjoy but we don't need to talk about bruno because this is a boxy charm review right use a good old fashioned sonia kashuk brush <laughs> me trying to um bust up on this energy again Cause I be losing it. Cute, 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 cute. Don't too much, girl. Cause you're going to do a skincare routine right after. <laughs> All right. So we got that down. Let's go ahead and use, we only have what? Two more products to try. Let's go ahead and take our middle shade, Blissful. And we're going to use it as a highlighter on the cheeks. I'm using one of these big ones. I feel like I rarely ever use powder highlighter anymore. So when it's time for me to pick up a highlight brush, I ain't gonna lie, they're not always the, look at this. <laughs> they ain't always the cleanest anymore. And this one is definitely too big for what I'm trying to do. I try to show y'all more brushes that are not tart. I just have so many from just working there, as I always say in my videos, I have a lot of them. But I have a lot of other brushes too. I really do. Okay. Now see, we already know Ofra's gonna slay as a highlighter, right? And see, this is the reason I try not to do a whole lot of powder highlighter right now because I'm trying to get my texture back in the way that I like to see it and just get more health back to my facial texture. So I try not to accentuate that, you know? Nothing to say there. We know for highlighter is going to give. We just do. Okay. All right. So what did I do that? We rated that. We rated our eye cream for what we could rate it for at the moment. And we rated our liquid shadow. Now down to one of my favorite things to do, which is put on mascara. Don't love the smell like I already stated. But I do like the concept of this. So why don't we try to play with some of the angles? Okay. How is there a thin piece of my hair on here already and I haven't even used it? Okay. Let's give it a try, shall we? Make sure you guys can see without my whole arm in a way. Let's give it a whirl. I like it. I'm gonna put it back upright. Y'all, it calms it too, okay. Not just a gimmicky little pat and a formula too. You can 
really like comb it strand by strand, yes. I've been looking for a really, really good comb through mascara that also gives it a good lift. All right, yeah. Uh -huh. Let's flip the script on these heifers, right? Ooh, okay. Oh, she stands. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I like her. Okay, bottom lash, let's see. to be able to just come back up. Look, just look at that. <laughs> I don't have the world's most luscious lashes, that's for sure. I got some layer. But honey. Mm. Then we don't have little speckles trickling down at the bottom because of the patent. I like her, y'all. All right. Somebody walking through with a 10 out of 10. Very, very nice. I really do enjoy this mascara wand. And I like the formula, which is even more important than a wine. Oh, stinks, but oh. Let me take it back. It don't stink. It just has a very unique smell. How about I say that? I'll say that. Don't stink, though. Wow. But it is nice. I even like the, the ridges in this. It's really nice. And with it being this way, I feel like I could really clean it off if it gets a little cloggy. Um, I'm going to do the other eye, though, and we are going to try out the lip and give our final thoughts. Um. That's how this mascara is making me feel, just, mm, mm. Yes, she's dressed with good, uh, mascara, uh. She ain't got them bald-headed lashes, uh, uh. Well, they're not bald, but they just not luxurious, like, like the universe likes to give boys who don't even need them, you know what I'm saying? Like, why you got all them? Give them here. Why do you have all those lashes? You don't need them. And you don't need nothing else that can help you manipulate. Give them here. <laughs> but no, all jokes aside, this is a really, really great mascara. And when I say my search for amazing mascaras are endless because I tend to like mascara over false lashes. I know false lashes are great, but I really like mascara. I never heard of this brand and this is fire. Love it. 10, 10, 10, 20 out of 10. And just when I was doing this other eye, I'm, I'm like, oh, wait, it's 90 degrees. So I can take the same amount of attention and detail that I did on this side like I did my dominant hand side because of the flexibility. You guys, I'm about to go buy a couple of these just so I don't run out. Really, really love this. I'm excited about it. It's awesome. Like, I love this. I love this, especially because there's a mascara I have been using recently that I absolutely love when it comes to the packaging, the um, the brush itself. It does last long, but the formula, if you blink, it, it what's so weird about it? You blink, it runs. But once it's dry, like, obviously, if you blink with a wet mascara, it's going to run. But this is just abnormal like it could have set for two minutes already and you haven't blinked or done anything crazy and it's already running and then when you try to take it off it's like impossible <laughs> and it has been turning me off of that mascara so much driving me crazy and um here we are 
here we are. I didn't think we were going to get another mascara this month, but we did, and I'm happy about it. Last but not least is this beautiful packaged Complex Culture Lip. This is just such a pretty lipstick case. I just want it. I'm not throwing this away. I'm going to find a way to use this. Maybe we can we can make a take something out and make it a USB thumb drive because, yes, I still use those. Maybe we can make it a cute thumb drive holder or something. I don't know, but let's try the color. On it so like a little peachy pink nude which is very fitting for our eye look let's try it i gotta smell it smells like vanilla really like this color I would typically do a little bit more of a um like a brownish nude liner and just do a nice seamless blend more of an ombre effect I can hear Lucifer trying to get in my kitty butt but this is a really nice lipstick shade I think it's really pretty again I would just do warm it up on the outside with a lip liner I like that it's creamy but it's still opaque when I Press my lips together it's not giving those warning little weird lines that can tend to happen when you have more of a cream formula and I love to be able to put a new lipstick on because it's so pointy <laughs> and it's like you never get that point again <laughs> once you use it I do have a deeper um, cupid's bow so I like to be able to get that cupid's bow nice and carved out the way it should be smells amazing packaging is bomb.com and it's comfortable it feels hydrating and it also doesn't have like this um sometimes you have really strong like i like the menthol and stuff sometimes but sometimes they put them in lipstick for plumping or to smell and it's just you know sometimes so overpowering you don't have that this is nice i'm gonna also give this lipstick and i want to actually see what other shades they have from complex culture a 10 out of 10. this is really nice i like this lipstick and Usually this is like any other pinky nude lipstick and you just bypass it in the store, right? But I like it. It's going to go in the collection. And I think it's nice with the selection of shadows and things that they have. And honestly, I like that they put like a fun random color in here because this really was a very nude box. So this is given last hurrah this boxy charm end of summer we definitely want our hair feeling nice and hydrated and, and, and moisturized ready to go but we also gonna keep these under eyes plump honey and go into the fall with a bang that's what this box is giving we only got two 10 out of 10s and that's fine right it's okay um i think though that this box had good variety you had hair care face care a lip two eye products and eye. So I think this was the kind of um, variety in a box that I like to see. So overall, very good box. I wasn't disappointed when I opened it and that really makes me feel good. And like I said, I am a eye cream junkie and I use day cream, eye, um, eye cream and night cream, eye cream, and sometimes I mix them. So it's very nice to get this amount because I'm. it's gonna take me quite some time to run this through. I am a person who uses my product until there is nothing left so that I can know if it works or not and I can know if I want to purchase it again or not. So I'm very excited to add this into my skincare routine because I'm just about done with my Dr. Brandt and, um, and Key List. So I'm satisfied. Another successful box as far as I'm concerned. And now that everything is calming down and my eyes are not as tired, <laughs> I ain't mad at this eye look. I'm really not. I'm not mad at it. I would honestly do just the inner shimmer all over if I was doing a go out look. The darker color that I'm um, the Godiva and I would do like a um, formula that makes your eyeshadow powder more jelly so it'd be a thicker consistency. I would make a nice chocolate brown gel liner, still outline it with the pretty aqua marine blue and then honestly mascara and that would be my little go out look and then just a little bit of brownish nude ombre um, lip liner and 
you girl be ready for hanging out with friends, date night, solo library, coffee shop, run, and yeah. So I'm gonna use these products, every single one of them. When I love a BoxyCharm product, I absolutely use them over and over. I repurchase them. If I have BoxyCharm bucks or you know the charms waiting, I will go shop on there. So check it out. I think it is a great subscription box is one of my favorites is why I still have it all these years later and again I do think it is a nice nice subscription and um, it gives you the ability to discover new brands try a variety of brands and really build up your makeup collection because you get a little handful of goodies for one so check it out that's all I'm going to go snuggle up in my oversized hoodie edit the video <laughs> and I'm gonna catch you guys on next one if you like what you see please do so consider I don't know why I can't talk today and I ain't edited it out because what the hell ever but consider subscribing to my channel turning on the notifications if you don't like to miss when something comes out like me I have my notifications on for people because YouTube is TV for me when I watch something and yeah and just support I got my candle lines linked here I got my EP linked here so if you do want to check out other things check it out and thank you so much for dropping by again peace out Rather kiss your lips and undress you and take you on your favorite ride.